Welcome to this series on Accounting 406, Introductory Management Accounting. In this video, we will quickly discuss what is management accounting and what is its focus, and particularly how this focus differs from financial accounting. At its essence, accounting is the process of keeping financial records to enable quantitative as well as qualitative analysis. The key to understanding management accounting is understanding its purpose and how that affects the way financial information is analyzed. As you would have read in the textbook, management accounting is the provision of accounting information for a company's internal users, such as managers. In other words, the purpose of management accounting is to support the management's planning, controlling, and decision-making for the company. To better understand the purpose and focus of management accounting, it is useful to examine how it differs from financial accounting. Financial accounting is the provision of accounting information for a company's external stakeholders, such as investors and regulators. The fact that management accounting is tailored towards internal users is the root of why it differs from financial accounting. To make sure financial accounting practices are standardized and trustworthy, strict rules have been established over time. For management accounting, however, there are no mandatory rules, as the purpose is to keep managers continuously informed and not keeping investors periodically updated on the company's entire financial performance. In other words, financial accounting focuses on communicating the big picture to external stakeholders. On the other hand, management accounting broadly focuses on specific operational activities within the company. Lastly, financial accounting focuses on past performance, while management accounting seeks to aid in managing future performance. To better understand the differences between the two accounting practices, let's examine how it affects the way we look at the sequence of activities that make up a company's value chain. Financial accounting would focus on reporting how these activities generated value in the past. Managers, however, would be more interested in monitoring the part of the value chain that they oversee. For example, if a manager is in charge of the transportation for the company, they can use activity-based costing to analyze the costs and benefits associated with their choice of transportation services. Additionally, it is useful to apply a cross-functional perspective to make sure that cost-saving adjustments in one step don't lead to cost-increasing issues with either downstream or upstream activities along the value chain. For example, if a producer of perishable goods switches to a lower-cost transportation services, which turns out to be less efficient or less careful with handling of their product than their previous services, this could result in potentially incurring losses that would exceed the savings from making the switch. I hope this short video helped you understand the difference between financial and management accounting. The upcoming videos will continue to help complement the readings from the textbook through nuanced explanations and applied examples. Best of luck to you in all your courses this semester.